Okay, today we're gonna be doing part two of the sneaker centerpiece and we are getting ready to put it on your table. So we learned about doing layers. If you missed that video, go here to watch it. But for those that did, let's do it. Let's start to put this on our table and get our party started. Come on. Let's get right into this. Our prior video, I had cut out the three layers, but this time I wanted to um, start far as with the layers. So we have the base, which is the black metallic. I have the red, and you can do this in any color um, that you like. But I've been getting a lot of questions like the SVG. Now this SVG I got off of Etsy, and I had to create my own, which I will be selling. But as you can see, I had to manipulate this SVG. And sometimes you may have to manipulate it. And I don't have a problem with that because everyone sort of may have the same SVG. And if you want your items to look a little different, sometimes you have some little manipulation. So that's why you see me cutting out those little threads and stuff because I don't want them on top. And even if you did, you know, gluing those little pieces is really time consuming. And I just cleaned it up. Now, another key, remember, to my sneaker centerpieces is the cardstock. That cardstock that I'm using is a leather grain um, texture bars cardstock. So now we're starting to create our centerpiece. So I'm layering down my second layer on top of the block. Starting to look good. And you know, I have my favorite tool as far as the, um, the bony knife. I like it. So now we're going to add that top white piece to the centerpiece, as far as on here. And I'm lining it up. Everything is lining it up. And I tell you, I love this paper and how it cuts. I mean, it even makes it look like it has little threads, you know, like you have those little threads on your sneaker. So there you go and it actually you can just use this piece right now as it is you don't have to do a double side but for this video um, the centerpiece that I had on far as the Instagram that I displayed I did a double side now to keep the centerpiece far as standing up if you just wanted to do one and you don't even have to add the laces we're not even going to go to that I use one of those ornaments, the Christmas ball ornaments that you can use for like your Pringle toppers. This is a smaller one, not the big one. And I use it and it will keep things propped up. Put it in the center and it works. So now we'll get ready to work on the other side. We're gonna do the double side so I have two sides. Okay, so now we're gonna do the holes for our laces. Now, I'm using a grommet far as puncher and the brand, this is Cropadow. You can use whatever far as you want. You can even probably use a hole puncher far as if it's small because of the laces, but this is um, the tool that I'm using and it's very ones. I mean, you've probably seen this like for fabrics and materials and things like that. But this tool here, this Cropadow, it has multi-functions it actually puts the hole into paper also but also if you're doing like a grommet or something and you want it to adhere that to something it will do that to well, as well so that's why i like this tool and this can be found on my amazon shop too for us as well and um that is a good tool so now we're getting ready to make this thing for us stand up and you see i am using these um foam tape um, adhesive strips here these little pieces here and this is how I'm going to get this set up so as you can see I am adding these on top of each other and basically with anything you remember when you're in school or for me I might be aging myself remember it's called like the center of gravity how to get things far as a stand up and far as balance and you work with the center so one key thing you may always hear me talk about is foundation but I'm always looking for foundation far as gravity how to make things stand up and I'm sorry that um, one photo wasn't really clear I wanted you guys to see far as how I layered the 3d foam so it can stand up but you can get a little piece of it you can see it and this is just the front so just imagine at your table nobody's looking right at the center it's on the front and the side both sides and of course you're going to be adding other things but um, it stands up so we're going to start the lace 
Now how you lace, that's up to you. I'm just lacing these just a traditional far as way of one side, other side. You can do different ways. I had played around with it with some other designs. I mean, it's just fun. Do whatever you want. Keep it simple. Or if you want to do something very intricate far as with laces, you can. And you see how that goes on here. And you see the laces going far as up. And you also see that foam tape on here and you're going to see far as how you're getting there everything far as the proportion of it and keeping the weight distribution on it how this makes that centerpiece stand up and you sort of can probably see that a little bit far as right now but you'll see it far as at the end so now I'm tying it and you could cut these laces they don't have to be that long on here but there you go, it is standing up.